hello everyone welcome to a new video of coding with Ivan and in this video we are going to make a paint application for Android so let's get started at first we are going to design the layout for our application I'll go to the split view and here I'll change the root layout from constant layout to relative layout and inside this layout let me zoom in into this view okay and inside this relative layout I'll just remove this text view here and here I'll create a signature view which we are going to use as our canvas so for this we are going to use this library called signature view by Zahid Ali Shah so I was using this uh, library to uh, create a signature view where the user can put signature or draw their signatures so I thought we can also make a paint application from that so that's why I am making this video so from here we need to just copy this dependency and I'll give all the links of the libraries that I'm going to use in the description from there you can find that so I'll just copy this and I need to go back to the Android studio inside the module or app level Gradle file inside the dependencies I'll paste that and we will remove this compile with the implementation okay and then we will click on the sync now so after it's done we can go back to the activity main.xml and here we need to add the signature view so for this I'll go again into this uh, library so here as you can see we have the XML layout for that I'll just copy this from here and go back to the Android studio and here I'll paste this inside the relative layout so here we got the signature view we have a ID called signature view here width and height is match parent I'll set the default pen size let's keep this to 5 dp and background color is white the pen color is uh, black okay so everything is fine now under the signature view I'm going to create a new linear layout where I'll set the width as match parent and the height as wrap content I'll give this linear layout an ID also I'll call this options holder uh, holder all right and we can also set the orientation for this linear layout to horizontal and I'll attach this linear layout to the bottom so I'll write align uh, parent to bottom to true so it's now inside the bottom of the root layout I'll pass its gravity to be center and now I'll go back to the signature view and I'll put this signature view just above this linear layout so it doesn't go outside of the view so here I'll write layout above and here I'll pass the ID and for the ID I'll pass the option holder so it's now just above the uh, option holder layout so now inside the options holder layout I'm going to create another linear layout and this time I'll set its width as match parent and the height as wrap content I'll give this a weight of 1 and I'll also add a margin of let's say 4 dp and then inside this linear layout I'll add a seek bar so for this I'm going to create a new seek bar here and this seek bar is to for changing the brush size so here for the width of the seek bar I'll pass 0 dp because I'm going to use weights here so for the height I'll pass wrap content here let's close this seek bar and here I'll give this a layout weight of let's give it 1 I'll give this a margin to the start of let's say 8 dp let's also give the seek bar an id I'll call this pen size okay so here we got the seek bar for the brush size or the pen size now outside of this 
seek bar i am going to create a text view where i'll show the user the size of the brush or the pen so here for the width of this uh, text view i'll pass wrap content and for the height i'll also pass wrap content i'll give this text view an id here i'll call this txt pen size i'll set the text color for this text view to color black and let's set a text here as uh, our default uh, size of the pen was uh, 5 dp so i'm going to pass here 5 dp so this was for the uh, pen size now similarly i'm going to copy this linear layout one more time under this so inside here i'll set this uh, linear layout a gravity of let's say end and from here I'll remove this text view and the seek bar because here I'm going to add three image buttons so let's quickly create them at first I'll create the first image button and for the width of the button I'll pass 0 dp because here I'm going to use weights for the height I'll pass let's say 70 dp I'll give this image button an ID I'll call this BTN eraser and for the background of this button I'll pass color white let's set the scale type for this uh, image button to center and then I'll pass the layout weight of this to one so now for the image for the image button i'm going to use some assets i have created them here i'll give the download link of them in the description from there you can download that or you can also use your own images for these buttons so i'll just copy these values or these assets and i'll paste it inside the rest folder inside the drawable drawable okay refactor so here we got our three icons like the color the eraser and the save so i'll use them for three of the buttons here so now for the btn eraser i'll pass the source image as at the red drawable slash ic eraser here we have that and now i'm going to copy this image view uh, or the image button three more time so here we have the three image buttons so for the second one I'll change the ID to BTN let's say color I'll change the icon also to IC underscore color here we have that and the third one I'll change the ID as BTN save and here I'll also change the icon as IC underscore save okay so here we have our three buttons so our UI part is now done now we can go to the main activity dot Java here and here we'll start our Java coding so here at first I'll define all the views that we defined in our UI so at first i'll define the signature view signature view if if you get an error like this just click on it and it will ask you to import the class for the signature view so i'll just hit alt enter and then i'll click on the import class so here we got the signature view i'll uh, make a object called signature view here and then i'll initialize our image buttons image button I'll the first one will be IMG eraser then the IMG color then the IMG save all right and then I'll create an object for our seek bar I'll call this seek bar and finally I'll create an object for our text view which I'll call txt uh, pen size all right and now i'll define a file name to save the uh, drawing in a file 
so for this i'm going to create a value called private static string and the name of this will be file name and now we need to define a path to store the images of our drawing in png format so for this i'll create a new file i'll call this path we're getting error click on that hit alt enter it's solved so file path equals new file and here we need to get the internal storage for this i'll write environment dot get external storage directory you may get this method deprecated so if you get this deprecated you can use the method i'm showing in this screen now or if you want to see how to use that method you can use my video on how to make a file explorer application for android okay so now let's proceed so here i'll write environment dot get external storage directory dot get absolute path and inside that internal storage i'm going to create a new folder for saving our uh, drawing files so for this i'll add a new string here i'll name the folder as slash my paintings all right semicolon so now i'll initialize the views that we defined here inside our on create method at first i'll get the signature view equals find view by id r dot id dot signature view and then i'll get the seek bar seek bar equals find view by id r dot id dot pen size it was and then we had the text view so txt pen size equals find view by id r dot id dot txt pen size and then we had three image patterns so for the img color equals find view by id r dot id dot img or the btn color and then for the img eraser equals find view by id r dot id dot uh, btn eraser it was then for the img save equals find view by id r dot id dot btn save all right so now that we have initialized all the views at first i'll uh, handle the runtime permission to access the storage because if we want to save the images or save the paintings we need to access the internal storage for this at first i'll go to the manifest file here and inside here i'll define the permissions the first one will be the read external storage and the second one is users permission write external storage all right so once we have uh, defined the permissions here now we can go to the main activity dot java here and here i'll call a method ask permission i'll create this method outside of the on create method here and to handle the runtime permission i'm going to use the dexter library i'll give the link of this also in the description from there we just need to copy this dependency I'll copy that go back to Android studio and here I'll go to the module level Gradle file and here under this I'll paste the dependency and click on sync now again and once it's done we can go back to the main activity and inside the ask permission method I'll write dexter dot with context I'll pass the context dot with permissions and I'll define the permissions that we defined in the manifest file so manifest dot permission dot read external storage comma manifest dot permission dot write external storage okay so this was the two permissions that we need and then dot with listener new multiple permissions listener and here we got two methods the second one on permission rational should be shown inside here we have the permission token 
so insert the method body i'll write the permission token dot continue permission request that will actually keep asking the permission until the user uh, agrees to give the permission okay and insert the on permission checked you can show a toast message like uh, granted okay and now under here uh, outside of this with listener we need to write dot check okay so that will handle our runtime permission let's minimize this method so now at this moment let's run this application into our emulator to see how it performs as you can see our app is now installed and it's asking for the storage permission i'll just allow this and here as you can see this is our application and we can start drawing okay so that's how we can draw in our uh, paint application so now let's work on these uh, buttons and also the seek bar because it's not changing the size of the uh, pen so let's quickly do that so let's start with the color picker first so i'll write img color dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener and inside here i'll call a method called open color picker i'll create this method outside of the on create here we have the method and to use the color picker we are going to use another library uh, this the Amil Warner library by Yukuku if I'm not wrong okay so from there we'll just copy this dependency and I'll go back to the Android studio again inside the module level Gradle file under this I'll paste that and click on sync now once it's done we can go back to the main activity dot java and here insert the open color picker we will define the uh, color picker dialog but before that we need to define a default color for our application so here inside this uh, main activity class i am going to take a integer value called default color and i'll define this default color just under this ask permission method so here i'll write default color equals context compat dot get color and here at first we need to pass the context which is uh, main activity dot this and the second parameter is the color so for the color uh, for the default color i'll pass r dot color dot black all right so now we got the default color now we can start working on the color picker dialog so here at first we need to create an object for the ambil warna dialog so i'll write ambil warna dialog if you get an error like this you can click on here and click on the import class or you can also just click on the text and it will ask you to press alt enter to import this ambilwarna dot ambilwarna dialog class so i'll hit on alt enter import class i'll create a object for this as ambilwarna dialog equals new ambilwarna dialog and here i'll pass the context as this second parameter is the default color and the third parameter will be the listener for the ambil warner dialog so i'll write new ambil warner dialog dot on ambil warner listener okay so here we got uh, these two method the on cancel and the on ok so inside the on ok method i'm going to make the default color with the color that we are getting from the dialog so i'll write default color equals color 
and I'll also change the pin color of our signature view. So I'll write signature view dot set pin color and here I'll pass the color. All right. And now here we need to add a semicolon and outside of this I'll write the Ambil Warner dialog dot show. Okay, so this is uh, the code for our color picker. Now let's try to run our application again. So here is our application and by default the color is black. So if I change the color, if I click on that, it will open the color picker. So from here, let's pick the this color, the red one, click on OK and now you can see the paint color is now changed to red similarly we can pick another one let's pick this green one Can ok and here we have this green color all right so now let's handle the seek bar to adjust the pen size so let's quickly do that so in order to do that i'll go inside the on create method under this default color maybe and here I'll create a on sigbar change listener for the sigbar. So I'll write sigbar dot uh, set on sigbar change listener. This one create a new sigbar dot on sigbar change listener. Here we got uh, these three methods. We'll work on the on progress changed. So here at first I'll update the size inside our uh, text view for showing the pen size. So I'll write txt pen size dot set text and here I'll pass the integer i here which defines the size. So I'll write i and after that I'll add a string called dp. Okay. And after that I'll set this size to the signature views pen size. So I'll write signature view dot set pen size and here I'll pass I and after that for the maximum value for the seek bar I am passing 50 you can pass any value like 80 100 or anything so I'll write seek bar dot set max and here I'll pass 50 okay so now let's run our application again to check the pen size seek bar okay so here is our application uh, at first let's draw like this okay now let's increase the size to 50 dp and you can see this is the pen size now now let's minimize this into around 10 dp and this is the size okay so the seek bar part is now done now let's uh, work on this eraser so in order to create uh, the listener for the eraser button i'll go here under this img color i'll write img eraser dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener and to erase the paintings it's quite simple i just need to write here signature view dot clear canvas that's it now let's try this okay so let's first draw something okay so it's a drawing now let's click on this eraser button and it's now erased if we draw something again and click on the erase it will erase that and i can show you a simple hack here like if you write something here and you just want to delete this part then you can simply pick the white color from here and you can adjust the pen size and you can start removing that from here okay all right so now let's uh, work on this save button to save our painting as a image for this i'll create a on click listener for the img save so img save dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener and before saving the image 
I'll check if there is a bitmap for our painting. So I'll write if signature view dot is bitmap empty. So if it is not empty, as I'm adding a not here, if it is not empty, then we'll ask for the save method, save image. I'll create this method outside of the on create here but before saving that let's work on our uh, file name and the file path that we defined earlier here so in order to save the images what i want to do is i want to give a unique name for each of the image files so to give that i'm going to use the current time for the file name so for this i'll go inside this on create method and after this ask permission method i'm going to create a string with our current date and time for this i'll take a new simple date format object i'll call this format equals new simple date format and here for the pattern i'll pass year month day underscore hour minute and seconds all right and then for the local i'll pass local dot get default all right so here we got a formatter now let's create a string with this formatter so i'll write string date equals format dot format and here i'll pass a new date all right and now i'll create the file name to saving our images for this i'll write file name equals path plus i'll add a slash in between and then i'll add the date as the file name and after the date i'll write dot png to end the name of that file because we are going to save all the drawings as a png file okay and now we need to see one more thing that if this path already exists in our internal storage or not so if it doesn't exist then we need to create that so for this i'll write a if checker here so here i'll check for if the path dot exists if it does not exist i'll add a not here and after that inside this body of the if condition i'm going to create the path so path dot make directories okay so what that will do is if it finds that the path doesn't exist then it will create that path otherwise it won't create as we already have that okay now let's go inside the save image method here so here in the method body at first i'll create a new file 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 equals new file and here i'll pass the file name all right and then we'll get the bitmap from the signature view so for this i'll create a bitmap object bitmap alt enter bitmap bitmap equals signature view dot get signature bitmap and now to save this bitmap in a file at first we need to convert this into a byte array so for this i'll write a byte array output string i'll call this uh, bos equals new byte array output stream and then i'll write bitmap dot compress and here i'll set the compress format like bitmap dot compress format and as we are going to make uh, all the images as png i'll write png here and then for the quality as we are working with png we won't give any quality percentage so i'll keep it zero and then i'll pass the a byte array output stream object which is boss so let bos 
and then I'll create the byte array. So I'll write byte. I'll call this bitmap data equals bos dot two byte array. All right. So here we got our byte array. Now we can write this in a file. So for this, I'll create an object of the file output stream. I'll call this fos equals new file output stream and here i'll pass the file that we got from here as you can see it's showing some error let's see what it's showing it says add exception to method signature okay so it's added a throws file not found exception uh, okay so now after that we will write the bitmap data in our file output stream. So I'll write fos dot write, and here I'll pass the bitmap data. And after that, I'll flush and close our file output stream. So I'll write fos dot flush and fos dot close. All right. So we are also getting some errors for this. What are the errors? Add exception and method signature. Okay. So it's added the IO exception here also. So after it's done, we can simply show a toast message by saying that image is saved. So I'll show a toast message here where I'll say uh, painting saved. Okay. So here inside this image save on click listener for the save image method we are getting an error because we need to surround this with try catch. So you can click on this, click on this uh, button here and click on this surround with try catch. Alright. And if there is any error in the catch block we can also show a toast message by saying uh, couldn't save couldn't save okay so that's it for our application so now let's run this in our physical device and see how it goes so here as you can see our app is now installed on our device so if I draw something here let's pick another color let's draw something change the pen size select another color draw this here okay and now let's try to save this by clicking on this save image button so it says painting saved so now let's go to the file explorer to see if it really saved the image or not all right so here is our file explorer let's refresh this and in our code we defined our folder name as my paintings so let's search for that okay so here is the folder called my paintings let's go inside that and here you can see we have the png file of our drawing let's try to open this okay so here is the image file of our painting okay so that's how we can simply create a paint application for android I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed that, please like this video, hit the subscribe button for more awesome Android projects. And thank you so much for watching.